so it's asking me, uh, do I want to add catch clause to the existing try, which I do want to do. So we're going to do that. And so now it's not only trying to catch a malform URL exception, it's trying to it's also going to catch an IO exception. The IO exception is a more general um, kind of catch all. It can be a lot of different things. Um, for the scope of what we're talking about now, I'm, I'm not going to go into it too much, but, uh, but that's another exception that we're, we're going to catch. So we've got the URL. We've passed that to this input stream, so it's going to create and open a stream of data that we can uh, we can start collecting. So now, where are we going to collect it? Well, first we're going to buffer it. So we're going to do a buffered input stream, um, of which I'm going to call bis. And again, we're going to use new buffered input stream, and we're going to pass it. Yep, you guessed it, the variable that we just created for the stream. We're going to pass it a stream, stream. And we're going to import the package like we always do. And uh, this doesn't throw us any, uh, any exceptions or it's not complaining. Maybe it throws it uh, and we're just getting picked up by the IO um, exception. But we, we've now buffered it. We've opened the stream, we've buffered it, and now we need to put it somewhere. And that's where something called the byte array buffer comes in. So let's create a new one of those. And with the byte array buffer, uh, we know it's not going to be very big, so we're just going to say 50. Okay, and let's go ahead and import that. Okay, what's that thing the uh, your elbow's connected to your whatever bone? That song's kind of uh, makes sense here because we've just got a chain of things. We've got the URL. The URL is passed uh, to open the stream. The stream is passed to the buffered input stream. And the buffered input stream um, is ultimately, as you're going to see in a second, uh, going to buffer... Um, by the this byte array buffer. All right. So what's next here? Let's go ahead and we're gonna need to create an integer called current. And I'm gonna initialize that to zero. And I'm gonna do a while loop that says while this current is equal to our buffered input stream and we're gonna say is not equal to negative one which means we, we're getting some po uh, positive bytes um, basically the stream still has data coming through it as long as that's going on we want our byte array buffer the BAF we want that to just append all the bytes that come down the path or the stream. Okay, so now in that uh, byte array buffer, it's appending, it's gathering up all the data uh, that we need. Now, what is going to ultimately hold it? Well, it's going to be a string variable. So I'm going to say string, uh, let's say stock text, and that's going to equal a new string, and we're going to pass it our byte array buffer and this two byte array buffer or the, excuse me, this is uh, to the byte array itself. Um, let's see. Yeah. That is it. 
So to, to recount, um, we've opened up a stream, we have buffered that stream, we've taken the buffer and we've appended it to a byte array and it's going to continue to do that until there's no more data at which point we're going to assign all of, uh, all of those bytes to this uh, string stock text. Okay, that's enough for now. Um, what we're going to do next is how can we get uh, the data in stock text and chop it up and present it uh, in our interface. And that's what we're going to do next. See you in a bit.